Love him. Oh, as promised, 100%. We are here in Hyde Park, <laughs> gearing up for Tropical Island of Treasure Season 9. What an incredible ambiance. The atmosphere is electric. But sitting next to me are kind of key players within this entire season. We've got the host of the entire show, Mr. Katlejo, my boy. And then we've also got the Clover Marketing Manager of Beverages, Mianta. Now, Mianta, I have to start with you, girl. Curacao is an iconic destination. I mean, I kind of have FOMO, I wish I was there. Why did you guys choose this destination? Well, firstly, it's a unique destination in the Caribbean. And uh, going back to Tropica's roots of Caribbean, it was ideal for this year's season. Yeah. It also has a, a really great mixture of Dutch heritage and some African influence. A little bit of everything, it yeah, seems like. Yeah, a little like. bit of everything. And you also, when I look at the consumer contestants and the celebrity contestants, you've got quite a nice mix, um, athletic brains, people that are incredibly great with socializing. So how did you count these people down to just 12 and what were you looking for? So firstly, the celebrities were picked for um, bringing something new and different to the show. Um, this year we have a great mix of people, as you've said. And um, with any great mix, it's very hard to find the perfect consumer contestants. <laughs> but this year we looked for consumers who were looking for fame and fortune, which was the theme of this year's uh, show. <laughs> and um, the consumer contestants were picked through online auditions. Mm. And we got over 10,000 entries. And these guys were really picked because they were unique, they were different, mm. they brought some Thing, a different spark to the show. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Katlejo, you are no stranger to fame and fortune. <laughs> so this season being season nine, you're back at it again as the host. I mean, what can our viewers expect in this season and what makes the season so different? Well, uh, I first got to say a big thank you to Miantha and the team for entrusting me to come back as uh, the host of the show. Uh, the island was absolutely amazing. And I think people can expect a whole lot of drama. I know I keep saying it in the promotions when we talk about it on the show, but uh, there was a lot of drama because we've introduced unique new elements to the show that ensure that the drama is there, that the competition uh, continues to be fierce from episode one yeah. all the way through. Because, I mean, we're making television, so we want to make sure that our audience is smoothly entertained. They are are engaged with us on social media uh, throughout every single minute of the hour-long broadcast that is Tropic Island of Treasure Curacao. And I think we've nailed that quite right. If I even just think back in my own memories of the moments of tension that I felt, and I, then I've got to remember that, hey, no, no, you're the host of the show. Yeah. You're supposed to keep it smooth and calm and uh, relay the message of what's happening. So that's how drawn in I was to the entire process. And I think at the end of the day, we all had an incredibly memorable time. It's all about commitment. Absolutely. I have to agree. And Keeping on the topic of smooth fame and fortune, what is up for grabs this season? What are some of the incredible prizes? So if consumers enter through the on-pack promotion, they stand a chance to win um, guest vouchers um, so they can buy some new clothing, um, some watches, some sunglasses, algae dishwashers, <laughs> phones, wow. and a whole lot of other algae prizes. TVs also up for grabs, and the grand prize of a Suzuki Ignis, Ooh. as well as uh, KL <laughs> M has uh, also sponsored two tickets to Amsterdam. I mean, hello. What an incentive. What a prize. I'm so excited for everyone who is gearing up for this incredible, incredible launch and premiere. Katlejo, finally from you, if viewers tune in at 7.30 on SABC3 mm -hmm. tonight, what can they expect from episode one? Well, episode one, uh, of course, the introduction of all of our contestants, both the celebs and the consumers as they make their way uh, with KLM to Curacao. And then the drama ensues. I, <laughs> I cannot even begin to tell you how you'll be holding on to your seats, trying not to fall off as we begin. And of course, we need to know who the teams are, and that's what we've been trying to get people to guess out there, who would make the perfect combination in the pursuit of this shared one million rand, the smoothest prize in all the land. And uh, I I'm sure that they'll be riveted and they'll be entertained all night long. Absolutely. Whilst you're holding on to your seats, I'll be clutching onto my wig because we're going to have such an incredible, <laughs> adventurous drama-filled show. I'm looking so forward to it. Make sure that you do tune in tonight at 7.30 on SABC3 where we are going to be broadcasting the very first episode of Tropica Island of Treasure Curacao. Engage with us on social media. Use the hashtag Tropica. Let us know your thoughts. Let us know your predictions. Let us know who you think is going to be walking away with smooth fame and fortune. But for now, over to you, Jeannie.